Introduction Our school bag contains so many articles like books, notebooks, pen, pencils, etc. They all put within our bag and are used for different functions. Similar to this, a cell is also made up of different cell organelles which also perform different functions. So in this module, we are going to learn about these cell organelles. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to know about the cell organelles, explain the structure and functions of endoplasmic reticulum, explain the structure and functions of Golgi apparatus, explain the structure and functions of lysosomes, explain the structure and functions of mitochondria, explain the structure and functions of plastids, and explain the structure and functions of vacuoles. Introduction of Cell Organelles The cell organelles like mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, vacuoles, etc. are the components of a cell which perform specific functions. They are found at different locations inside a cell. A cell has different kinds of cell organelles which perform specific functions. They are membrane bounded. Every kind of cell like unicellular or multicellular, plants or animal contains different types of cell organelles which perform specific functions. Endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, lysosomes, mitochondria, plastids and vacuoles are some examples of these cell organelles. Now let us know their structure and functions in detail. Endoplasmic reticulum Endoplasmic reticulum is a large network of membrane-bound tubes and sheets. It has structures like long tubules or round bags called vesicles. On the basis of presence of ribosome, they are of two types. Rough endoplasmic reticulum, RER, and smooth endoplasmic reticulum, SER. Rough endoplasmic reticulum, RER, has ribosome attached to its surface, so looks rough under electron microscope. Ribosomes are the site of protein manufacture. So RER is also helpful in protein synthesis and its transport inside the cell. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum, SER, does not contain any ribosome on its surface. The SER is helpful in the manufacturing of fat molecules or lipids, which is important for cell function. Some of these proteins and lipids help in building the cell membrane. This process is known as membrane biogenesis. It also plays a crucial role in detoxifying many poisons and drugs in the liver cells of the vertebrates. Golgi Apparatus The Golgi Apparatus was first discovered by Camilo Golgi. It consists of a system of membrane-bound vesicles arranged parallel to each other in stacks called cisterns. These cisterns are attached to membranes of endoplasmic reticulum. It dispatches the packaged material to various targets inside and outside the cell. Its functions include the storage, modification and packaging of products in vesicles. It also involves in the formation of lysosomes. Lysosomes Lysosomes are single membranous sacs contain digestive enzymes. These enzymes are known as hydrolytic enzymes. Lysosomes help to keep the cell clean by digesting any foreign material as well as worn-out cell organelles. Foreign materials entering the cell, such as bacteria or food, as well as old organelles end up in the lysosomes, which break them up into small pieces. During the disturbance in cellular metabolism, for example, when the cell gets damaged, lysosomes may burst and the enzyme digest their own cell. Therefore, lysosomes are also known as the suicide bags of a cell. Mitochondria 
Mitochondria are known as the powerhouses of the cell because they generate and provide the energy in the form of ATP, adenosine triphosphate, to cell to perform various chemical activities. ATP is known as the energy currency of the cell. Mitochondria contain two membrane coverings. The outer membrane has many pores on it, while the inner membrane has many folds. These folds are known as Christi. Plastids. Plastids are present only in plant cells, not in animal cells. Plastids are similar to mitochondria in external structure. There are two types of plastids. Chromoplasts, colored plastids, and leucoplasts, white or colorless plastids. Chromoplasts are colored plastids which provide different colors to flowers and fruits. Leucoplasts are colorless plastids. They store some materials like starch, oils, and protein granules. Chlorophyll containing plastids are known as chloroplasts. These are important for photosynthesis in plants. Vacuoles. Vacuoles are storage sacs for solid or liquid contents. In animal cells, the size of vacuoles is small, while plant cells have very large vacuoles. The central vacuole of some plant cells may occupy 50 to 90 percent of the cell volume. In plant cells, vacuoles are full of cell sap and provide turgidity and rigidity to the cell. Many important substances for life are stored in vacuoles. These include amino acids, sugars, various organic acids, and some proteins. In single-celled organisms like amoeba, the food vacuole contains the food items that the amoeba has consumed. In some unicellular organisms, specialized vacuoles also play important roles in expelling excess water and some wastes from the cell. Assessment Before proceeding further, let us know how much you have learned. Match the column A with column B. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. A cell has different kinds of cell organelles which perform specific functions. They are membrane bounded. Endoplasmic reticulum, ER, is a large network of membrane bound tubes and sheets. On the basis of presence of ribosomes, ER is of two types, rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Golgi apparatus consists of a system of membrane-bound vesicles arranged parallel to each other in stacks, and they are called cisterns. It dispatches the packaged material